Hey everyone. Today in this video tutorial, I will be working on a sensor that is TSL45315. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over our website controleverything.com and here searching for this sensor and let's see what we got. So TSL45315 is an ambient line sensor and these are some of its features. Have a closer look on them. For this session, I will be working and interfacing the sensor TSL45315 using an Arduino Nano. For that, I require a code. So go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. You can download this Arduino code sample from here as a zip file. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware, the products we require and let's make some connections for that. Now, in the hardware connections part, first of all, the requirement is of our Arduino Nano, which you are able to see on my screen. Now, this is an I2C shield. The question arises why we use this shield, and the answer is to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So, gently place the Arduino Nano over the shield like this, and the connection is good. Now, we require our sensor that is TSL45315 ambient light sensor and this is a connecting cable. Now make the connection of the cable and the light sensor like this and make sure that while connecting this connection we have to connect the brown wire of the cable to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule for our I2C shield. Now this is a mini USB cable. This is useful to power up our Arduino Nano and gently insert it over the power jack. Now we have the completion of our hardware section. Now let's proceed and how the code works. Now we have reached the implementation of code and the interfacing of our sensor. So go to github.com for the code. First of all here search for the repository that is control everything community. Click over it and here type in TSL45315 which is our sensor. And here it is. Now this is the required Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instructions for this first. Now we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the link arduino.cc which will help us to install step by step Arduino software. Please do it as it's highly recommended. Now get back to the code and here is our code with .in extension file. The first thing you notice in the code is that we have included wire.h library and the defined the address of our sensor that is 0x29. In the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Coming to the writing section part, we have selected control register having address 0x80 and here the command set is normal operation for which the writing section is 0x03. Next, we have selected the configuration register having address UX81 where we have set the command for multiply 1x t in 400 millisecond and the writing part is 0x00. In the next section, we have void loop function and the data from where we are reading is 0x84. From this register, we have requested and read 2 bytes of luminance data. In this part, we have the conversion formula for luminance which is according to the data sheet of TSL45315. At the very end of our code, we have output data on the serial monitor which is ambient light luminance and the unit is LUX. So this is how our code looks like. Let's have a look how it works. Well, let's have a look over the working environment for this sensor. For that, first of all, copy this entire code and open up the Arduino terminal. Now here enlarge it and paste the code and save it and name it as TSL4315315 and now here verify and compile the code. The code is being compiled and it's done. Now upload the code. As you can see the code is being uploaded and it's done. Now open up the serial monitor for the output data. As you can see, the ambient light is in LUX, the unit is this. Now, whenever I place some cover over the sensor, 
the ambient light luminance is being decreasing continuously. Now instead of this, when I will put some light source over it, you can see the increase in ambient light luminance in the unit of lux. So this is how our sensor TSL45315 ambient light sensor works. Now let's proceed further. Well, we have just seen the working of and interfacing of the sensor TSL45315. The TSL45315 provides ambient light sensing ALS that approximates human eye response under a variety of lighting conditions. The device has three selectable integration times and provides a direct 16-bit LUX output via an I2C pass interface. The wide dynamic range of the ALS makes it particularly useful in outdoor applications where it is exposed to direct sunlight. The device is ideal for use in automatic control of street lights and security, billboard and automotive lighting. The TSL45315 can also be used in solid state and general lighting for automatic control and daylight harvesting to maximize energy conservation. Other applications are like commercial lighting, industrial lighting, tablets, notebooks, cell phones and so on. This answer is available on our website controleverything.com and the Arduino code can be downloaded from this website. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Well, if you have any queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments, your queries on our community portal. For more blogs, for articles, you can reach us on instructables.com and to subscribe video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. Now in the end, you have a nice day and thanks a lot for watching.